movie we'll go through the steps necessary for doing cross sections through the block model and then into surface mine reserves of the block model inside a certain polygon. We'll start by building the pre-calculated file under Stratacalc, define pre-calc grids. The grids will represent the surface topo, the top and bottom of the block model, and the blocks in between. We'll build a new one, we'll just call it uh, geologic model. It's an elevation model. And the surface topo gets its own spot up at the top. And we'll add in three or four lines of info here. The first one will be overburden. It's a non-key, bottom elevation. Bottom of the overburden is the top of the block model. So this is the limestone stratified block model. We did the follow or module. Follow or model. Next thing we'll add, we'll just call it limestone. This is the key material. This is the ore that we're mining and we'll select that as the block model bottom and then the last thing we'll add is the block model itself to the geologic model also called limestone to match up it's the block model and select that file block model blk and we'll go ahead and save that and exit out now we'll just draw polyline from this open pit straight over to the left to the west side of the project and I'll move it down so we can actually cut through a few drill holes. We'll do a fence diagram under Stratocalc fence diagram. 2D grid come off the pre-calculated grids. Let's do a hundred and hundred on the scale so they match. I will hatch the fence with solid pattern and I do want to hatch by block model that should colorize the various grades from the grade parameter file. We'll turn on draw geologic column anything within 200 and make sure those settings match 100 100 2D grid draw on fence diagram solid fill and we'll do the same color the strata by the grade parameter file. Hit OK grab the geologic model and the grade parameters for the grades. Choose this fence polyline, start at 1350 up to 1600 and pick the lower left corner. So I drew my line from east to west but it's drawing it now from west to left to right in the section. There it drew the cross section, you can see the blocks nicely and it's now going to post the drill holes on top. Okay, zoom in there. There's the open pit and it's colored by grade. You can see the overburden up top, a very thin zone. And here's one of the drill holes. And you can barely make out the hole itself if I try and window that. Uh, there's the various colored portions of limestone in the hole. So based on the modeling, it's a very close match to the limestone blocks, but not an exact match based on the inverse distance 3D modeling method. This one's a very close match. It looks really good. All right, so let's find out how many tons we have of the different grades, and the grades are listed here. That was defined in the previous movie with the grade parameter file. Our surface mine reserves will be done inside this inclusion perimeter. We'll run Stratocalc to surface mine reserves. We'll use the pre-calculated method coming off the pre-calc surface for top and just down to the bottom of strata. Or we can go down to a, a flat elevation. In fact, let's do that. We'll find the pit floor is elevation 1500. So we'll match that here. We'll go down to a, an elevation 1500. We do want to calculate qualities. It's not a named pit. It's just an, a polyline. We do want to break out quantities by attributes. This is the main checkbox that needs to be turned on to report out tons by grade from the block model. Select OK. Grab the geologic model and the grade parameters. Select that inclusion perimeter right here. And we'll add over the various grades. Here we have cubic yards, or if it was metric cubic meters, we have tons. 
I'll bring over all the individual tonnage fields into the report. If there's no grade tons, they'll bring those over as well, something that didn't meet any of the grade criteria. And we'll put those over here. Save that and display for a quick preview. So we're looking at, let's take that out, strata and the individual tonnage grades. Save. We have strata overburden and its volume in cubic yards or cubic meters. And then we have the strata called limestone, which is what our block model is made from. Overall, we had a percent calcium grand total, 32%, if you were to mix it all together. But we also have the breakdown individual tons using this density of 155. That's pounds per cubic foot or kilograms per cubic meter. We can tell it to use commas in those numbers. And I do want to see the individual calcium for each grade as well. So I'm going to highlight those using my control button and move those over into the place after the tons. Save that and display. So now it's looking a little bit better report. There's the overall 32. So for example, in the 40 to 60 range, I have 165,000. And it's at 41% calcium. In the 30 to 40 range, I have 1.1 million tons. And its average is 35%. If you wanted to take this out to Excel, we can hit the MS Excel, turn on Include Totals, and hit the Export to Excel button. Excel opens up in the background. I'll click on Book 1, and there you have the same report cleanly dumped into Microsoft Excel for easy reporting and custom reports. All right, this concludes the surface mine reserves and cross sections through the geological block model in Carlson Geology. Thank you.